Hello, uh, Ashish again from Legrand Data Center Solutions. Um, I'm here to introduce the AI pod that we have for data centers with a lot of high-end computing happening where you've got huge amounts of electrical load and heat loads coming into each cabinet. We've had customers come up to us asking for 80, 90 kilowatts per rack. Hence, uh, we are looking at the AI pod that we've designed, the power transmission. When you're looking at huge capacities of power, we've got the Starline busway system capable of delivering up to 1,250 amps uh, per row of cabinets. And uh, let me quickly show you the transmission within the rack. We've built the world's first 125 amp PDU. So where you uh, normally have multitudes of 63 amps put in towards the rear end of the rack, you now would be able to have just one uh, 125 amp PDU connected to line A, another one connected to line B. How the system works is when you have equipment, you're looking at the rear of the cabinet. So what we've done here is when you have equipment mounted and when there is a lot of uh, heat that is coming off from the back end of the equipment that is mounted. We have removed the rear door of the existing cabinet. We've put in an adapter frame. This is the adapter frame. The adapter frame is bolted onto the ground and this adapter frame can fit any standard 800 mm cabinet manufactured by uh, XYZ, any brands that you choose to go with. We just simply remove the rear door of your existing cabinet. We put in an, an, put in an adapter frame and the adapter frame is hooked on to this bad boy. This is a rear door heat exchanger connected to a chilled water system or a CDU. Um, a water inlet temperature of about 20 degrees, 20 to 22 degrees a delta uh, T of about 10 degrees, so the return would be about 30 to 32 degrees. We've got dual power inputs. So you've got a line A feed and a line B feed. If one of those lines fail, it's got a built-in ATS, it'll automatically switch over to whichever line is active. Now, all that heat that is generated within your cabinet, we do not allow that heat to escape through the traditional perforated doors. Hence, the heat is contained in a smaller volume of air within the cabinet. You're looking at about 20 centimeters where all of that heat generated is contained. We do not have a perforated door. Instead, we have the rear door heat exchanger from a cool logic U systems. And once you close this door, all of that heat is pulled. It is extracted through the centrifugal fans which are built with an N plus one redundancy. All of that heat goes through the heat exchanger, comes out as cold air into the data center. Hence, we regulate the temperature within the entire data center and keep it at your threshold temperature. If you're keeping it at 22, 23, 24, no problem. This door that you're looking at is capable of delivering 92 kilowatts of cooling. We have um, a bigger unit, 47U, this is 42. The bigger unit with a thicker coil would be able to take out up to 200 kilowatts of uh, uh, heat from each rack. This is the future. You're looking at multiple of these side by side, all of them can have variable cooling which means to say if this rack needs let's say 50 kilowatts of cooling that's at what capacity the fans would be functioning at if the next rack needs 70 kilowatts of cooling this rack would the cooling system here in this rack would be functioning at the higher capacities so in a sense you've got variable and adaptive cooling based on each rack requirement the cooling capacity changes and itself it regulates the cooling to make sure that your data center is secure. You may have questions on this. Please reach out to us at Legrand Golf. We'd be more than happy to help you with further details. We can help you uh, plan and 
uh, future-proof your data centers with these systems. Thank you.